Hey everyone, in this lesson, we'll finally begin creating our own WordPress theme. So let's get this started. Okay, so in our browser, let's go ahead and visit our homepage of our local web development version of WordPress. So your URL might be different, but that's okay. As long as your site is running, we go to our site and then at the end of our domain, we want to go to wp-admin. And if you're not a developer, one of the first things that you do at a WordPress website is change your theme. And usually that's done through appearance, themes, and we could always add a new theme here. And there's hundreds of themes to choose from. And you might choose one and install it and have that new theme or even purchase a third party theme. But in this course, we're not going to do that. We're not going to use anybody else's theme. We're going to create our own theme. And I know it could sound scary, but as long as we're here and doing it step by step, then it should be both educational and an extremely powerful tool for you to learn. So if we go back to themes, we'll see the previously installed themes. But if we wanted to create our own theme, all we have to do is create a folder in a specific place inside our website folder. And to find that, we can go back into local, and it's going to be in that same folder we've already looked at. If you right click here and you go to site folder, you're going to go into your website folder. Then we go into app, then public. So everybody watching this course, we're all going to have the same core WordPress files. Right now we're looking for the theme folders which is going to be in the WP content folder. So let's click into it. And here we see themes. Here we see one folder for every theme that we have installed. So if we want to create a new theme, all we need to do is create a brand new folder inside this theme directory. And we can name it anything we'd like. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. I'll call mine uni university theme so the next thing to do would be to create two files within this folder and once we do that we'll have a theme here that we can activate so let's go ahead and create those two files so what i like to do is drag this folder into our text editor like this so now it's open and i can quickly right click and create a new file and just like that, this will be saved within our theme folder. So what do we want to name it? Index.php. And what do we want to add into it? Let's just add some placeholder. Save that. So I said we needed to create two. So let's go ahead and create a new file. And we could also click here. So what do we want to call it? Style.css. Now normally CSS file only has one responsibility and that's to tell our website what to look like. So I'm going to write this. You don't have to write this down, but usually in our style.css we would do something like p color green. With WordPress, our style.css has another responsibility. WordPress needs some information about our theme so that it could load it properly. In our style.css WordPress will be looking for this. Now, follow along. So first, a comment in CSS is forward slash asterisk, and then we close it off. So within here, we're gonna give it our name by saying theme name, Uni University theme. So after our theme name, let's give it a author. Next, we give it a version, and then we save this. If we were to minimize this, go to our backend theme section, reload, and here we see our uni university theme. So we do realize that we're missing an image. So to add a preview image to our new theme, all we have to do is go into our theme folder, we named it Uni University theme. So within here, we just need a image called screenshot.png. So I got one already here just for this lesson. 
Not sure if it's going to look perfect, but let's rename it, whatever image you have, to screenshot.png. Since a WordPress is on the lookout for this screenshot.png. Ideally, you want it 1200 pixels wide by 900 pixels tall. With this in place, we should be able to go back into our theme folder and refresh. And now we can go ahead and activate our theme. So now we have our very first custom built theme for your WordPress site. So if we go back and go to our home page, we do see this is a Uni University theme, which is what we wrote in our index.php file. So now that we have our brand new theme and we've activated it and can see it in the front end of our website, we don't have any need for our other themes, so we could go ahead and delete those. We go to the folder structure, we see those three folders, we can go ahead and delete those. So now if we refresh and refresh, we just see our one theme. So before bringing this to a close, I wanted to talk about a concern you might have had. If you experiment along with me as I'm speaking, the way I would do, you might have actually tried writing some styles into your style.css. But you will notice that if you save it, we don't see our paragraphs turning that color. But don't worry about that because we're going to be learning about loading CSS to the front end of our website very soon. In the next lesson, we will actually learn something useful instead of just the basic setup that we've been doing. The next lesson will be on functions. And if you don't know what they are, that's okay. Because in the next lesson, we'll start in the basics so that you get comfortable utilizing functions in WordPress, which is one of the most powerful aspects of WordPress. I'll see you guys there.